everything you need to know to stay at the Element by Weston in Sedona, Arizona. I'm Chris, <laughs> this is The Curious Princess, and in this video, we're gonna show you around this hotel and then share with you the pros and cons and let you know whether you should consider staying here or not. You ready to go? Yes. All right, let's go. The Element Sedona Hotel is a three-story hotel located in the village of Oak Creek, just a few miles outside of Uptown Sedona. This hotel really quite new, and although it's not in the hustle and bustle of Sedona, there's a lot of things to eat and do right around the hotel. It's next to like a small shopping mall that has a whole bunch of restaurants in it, and so you'll find a lot of amenities here even though it's not in the middle of town, and it's just about a 15-minute drive into Uptown Sedona without traffic. As you head into the hotel, the lobby is a big open lobby, high ceilings, check-in desk over onto the left, just behind the check-in desk. They've got lots of Sedona material. They've also got a snack stand where you can pick up snacks. They also have a water bowl where you can get dog bowl water. This lobby is also where they serve breakfast, complimentary breakfast for all guests. We'll talk more about breakfast later. They have a decent sized fitness center that has windows that look out into the hallway that then look out onto the pool area. Speaking of the pool, it's a pretty good pool deck. I saw a lot of the teenage type kids staying here really enjoying this pool, particularly at night. And in between the pool and the hotel, there's also another patio area with a few barbecues. Parking at the hotel is $20 per night. We did find the parking to be quite busy and so often found ourselves finding like the last spot or having to go into the overflow parking into the back. Now that we've seen everything around the hotel, let's check out the inside of one of the rooms. This is room 318, a two queen bedroom up on the third floor. So as you can see, there are two queen beds that the princess has tested for jumping. How is the jumping quality of these beds, princess? Fun, 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 fun. Fun, fun, fun. One odd thing about this room, the lighting. It is really, I don't love the light. It's like this really bright white neon, but the beds look comfy. Uh, there's an interesting little sofa right here, single seat. There's another single seat right over here with the television up there right on top. Just to the side of the television is a full kitchen. It's got a microwave, it's got bowls up here, it's got uh, even a washing machine down here if you need to wash your dishes. Over here, we've got a full-size refrigerator. And over here, we have the closet in the room. There's a safe over on this side. And then what's over on this side? A big ironing board and a four-year-old girl. Turns out she's in that closet. <laughs> There's one more thing in the main room I wanna show you, which is this desk bar slash table. This is the like combined everything here. In the center of the room, I say that because it has a like a desk chair and the phone and power connectors, but yet it has bar stools over here if you're eating from the kitchen. And so this is kind of nice. Oh, and come over here. Behind the lamp, it's like the all-purpose power connector. So if you've got European plugs and you're coming here, no problem. And the final part of the room is the bathroom. There's a counter with an offset sink on one side over here. There is a mirror up there. There's a mirror over here too. <laughs> Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the cutest daughter of them all? And then over here, there is a walk-in shower. The handle is over here, and the faucet is over here. Just a single fixed head. But what is nice, this bathroom is really bright. They put a light in the shower, which I like. And the ceilings, if you look up, are really, really, really tall. Oh, and one thing I didn't get a chance to show you last night is the room actually has a balcony. Uh, though the floor is kind of weird and not finished. And the drain doesn't seem to drain. It hasn't rained lately. Big puddle. Uh, what's our view? It's a storage center. But beyond the storage center, the red rocks, including a peak view of Bell Rock right now that we've seen everything around the hotel and the inside of one of the rooms, it is time for the final room review. And for those of you who watch my reviews regularly, you'll know I rate hotels on a scale of one to five Topher's. Toe for my traveling panda. How many Topher's is this hotel gonna get? It's gonna get three and a half Topher's. And so now I'll share with you the pros and the cons and why we arrived at three and a half Topher's instead of five Topher's. And then I'll tell you, is it worth it? Would I recommend you stay here or not? Uh, and so, but first to talk about arriving at the rating, when we first First got to the hotel at nighttime, just checked in, got to the room, the lobby feel, everything. 
was nice. We're like nice, soaring lobby, big room, full kitchen, new hotel, great location with restaurants that are in walking distance to it, supermarkets nearby. Uh, now here we're in the day, we can see the red rocks just off in the distance. There's a lot to like about this hotel. And so our initial rating going in right the first night was probably for Topher's. Then we slept overnight in the hotel. And when I say slept overnight, which is what you do, but we slept in the beds and found that the air conditioning is one of those that turns on and turns off and turns on and turns off and then blows a gale force wind on the bed whenever it's on, which is just, so you're like, well, I don't want it to turn on, turn off, and so I'll just leave it on, but then it just blows on the bed all night. So I don't like the air conditioning. I mean, it worked, it was cold, but when it's on, it's too cold, and when it's off, it's too stuffy. Yes, there's a door to the balcony, no, it doesn't have a screen, so you can't really keep it open at night. Um, so, other cons, uh, and I'm just gonna make the pros and the cons all throughout this thing instead of one in the other, but like other cons, other things we noticed as we were here longer is we noticed like a lot of maintenance issues, like this balcony that has the uh, standing water on it and all these chips, and it's not just my balcony, like the other balconies and the rooms over here, and this is a new hotel, so I really, don't know what's going on with these balconies in the bathroom there's supposed to be like a hook two hooks on the door but there was only one hook on the door our mattresses were like quite stained not just and not just my mattress but both mattresses like and i don't know how they get like this um i don't know that i want to know how they get like this so anyway, after all that stuff, we went down to three Tofers. Uh, that was before we had breakfast. Then we went and had breakfast. And like the breakfast, you know, it's a free breakfast, but it's like they do have some like, they cook the eggs to order. So that was nice. Um, nice flowy breakfast room. I mean, it wasn't like, it wasn't amazing waffles or things like that. I don't know. I don't know what they'll have tomorrow yet because I'm recording this after the first night. If there's, if I have a revolution after the second night, I will absolutely let you know. Uh, but the breakfast was uh, pretty good for a free breakfast. And also the fact that like so much of this is still new. There is so much of it that is still nice. The staff was nice, brought our towels up quickly, all very friendly. Um, and so the real question is, should you stay here? What's it going to be later? Is it going to trend down to three Tophers? Is it going to trend up to four Tophers? All these maintenance issues are things they could fix. I don't know that the air conditioning is. I don't know that that's in every room. But if you don't mind wind blowing on your bed at night, then that won't be an issue for you. How much did we spend to stay here? We spent about $250 a night in February on a weekend, which this is like high season in Sedona. And so pretty good price when we were looking at other hotels in uptown Sedona or even the other hotels around here, they're running at like four, five, six hundred dollars a night, thousand dollars a night. This is a crazy expensive town. And so 250 a night, pretty good deal. Who should stay here? Um, families should stay here. That's who was staying here. A lot of people with kids, big families, you know, three or four people to a room kind of thing. You make your money back on the free breakfast. We don't make it back, but it's not that expensive. The rooms are big. You can cook in the room, you get a fridge. There's lots of stuff to like. The parking, they charge $20 a night for parking. Do they have to? Eh, but they do, lame. Uh, but I think if you get a rate in high season, that's like half the price of everybody else, definitely worth staying. Would I stay here if I spent four or $500 a night? Probably not. So uh, if you are considering staying here, you want to check rates, I got a link in the description below where you can do that. If you're heading to Sedona, as soon as my Sedona travel guide is out, I'll put it right here. And if you're heading to Phoenix, check that out right here. I've got videos on the Grand Canyon and a whole bunch more. As usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you over there.